In 2020, we experienced a pandemic, financial insecurities, racial justice uprisings, and political chaos, at least here in the US. It was the year that should have challenged all of us to admit what we don't know and become more curious about how to support our teams. Listen, I realize this can be easier said than done. For years, I wanted to be an ally of people who were different from me. I thought I was an ally of people of color and people with disabilities. But when it really came down to it, I was afraid of saying the wrong thing. I was afraid of accidentally offending someone. So I said nothing. Any time prior to 2020 that I was invited to a Black Lives Matter rally or a fundraiser for an inner city school or something, I'd be like, I have my thing. I do the gay thing, that's my thing. <laughs> I stayed exclusively in my little gay lane. <laughs> have you ever stayed exclusively in your lane? Whatever your lane happens to be? This is what I now know. Most of us have something going on. Whether it's health issues, financial problems, family problems, our race, staying in the closet about our sexual orientation, most of us have something going on. But we cannot let that be an excuse for failing to show up for those who have even less than us. What I now know is that staying in my lane kept my world smaller. And also, I was completely overthinking because the solution is much simpler than I realized. I just had to be more curious. Do you know what the secret is if you don't know what to say in any given situation? Ask a question. Ask, respect, connect. A-R-C. Follow the ARC to create a culture of inclusion. The ARC method is a tool I created to help you get clarity in any situation and to genuinely connect with someone who is different from you. We always start with the A, the ask. And we're asking from a place of curiosity, not confrontation. And we're asking questions so we stop making assumptions about folks who are different from us. That's the A, the ask. Then we move on to the R, respect. Respect the answers that you get. Don't interrupt, don't dismiss, don't check your phone or your watch or any of that stuff in the middle of the meeting, in the conversation. Respect the stories that you hear, even if you don't like what they tell you, and especially if you don't like what they tell you. And then finally, we move on to the C, connect. Connect to fulfill your promise. Connect can be simple. It could be something like, wow, I had no idea. Thanks so much for letting me know. What can I do to help? Ask, respect, connect, follow the arc. And when we become more intentional about including and starting conversations with folks who are different from us, we're creating space for them to succeed. And when they succeed, we all win. We all thrive. Inclusion requires intention.